Hello, this is Jonas Anthony C.H. Melchett signing back in again um, with uh, a new uh, tactical map and uh, a new gameplay play-by-play um, -play, uh, footage uh, on uh, this time it's on as you can see Fallen Fighters and this time again I'm gonna be starting up with uh, the kind of general tactical my general tactical overview and, uh, and, and kind of the process I'm, I go through I think how I think this uh, map should be played as the Russians again first I'm going to describe the map as you see down the bottom right hand there is the A cap the uh, yellow star down in A then we got a B out in the middle we got a C we got D and then we got the German E up at the top as you see there is two Russian spawns to start with there is spawn number one up there in the top right hand corner and there is spawn number two down here um, yeah and kind of this map is kind of a, <laughs> a map where you play 20 minutes on your stomach because you got two uh, quite uh, large structures uh, the German A the German E spawn and the uh, and the Russian of course the Russian uh, the Russian uh, A spawn uh, from those two buildings you uh, machine gunners and sniper have excellent overview over the the kind of middle area out there um, with the two fountains as you can see there is uh, a wall or around so people often stack up on those walls and stack them and there's shell carriers in the middles, middle um, and again uh, you kind of see uh, the two green T's and the uh, both on the German side uh, and on the Russian side that is a spawn uh, not spawn sorry that is a sewers uh, that is underground sewers uh, you can go into and uh, you've been covered for the artillery and stuff yeah okay let's get uh, to the, uh, what you need to do uh, as the Russians when you're attacking this map uh, the most most important thing is uh, that you get a good base of fire up in a building you get snipers in a building you get machine guns in a building kind of shooting at the, as the, and the Germans as they are coming out and you need snipers and riflemen in those buildings kind of to suppress because the Germans are going to be doing exactly the same so lots of fire from that A and then you see when you go from A you go down into the sewers uh, straight up uh, a good suggestion is smoke, squad leaders kind of smoke up this area and again you go around the back of the uh, second spawn Russian spawn and go back there down into the trenches uh, yeah and then you see that kind of that wet red square that is the most important area on this map far that is you know what it is all about if you as the Russians can control this area you are going to win the map and then you're gonna say hey general why how come uh, this area is so uh, so important and the reason why that is so important is if you control this area you control D uh, cap zone uh, and if you control D cap zone the Germans cannot cap C or B or A or anything the Germans are forced to spawn up at E, uh, this German spawn one beside E, and uh, and then you got them in the fucking trouble, you know. Uh, then you can lay down loads of fire. So what do you do when you spawn from spawn two? You go down the sewers. I as commander, you see the red heart uh, right on top of D. I'm gonna to deploy artillery in that area straight away. That means all the Germans coming up from E, going down that direction, trying to cap D are gonna get slaughtered they're not going to be able to move up the tank is not going to be able to move up um, uh, and then uh, you're gonna control the area what did Russian tank need to do you see the two tanks uh, down there beside right to the right side of a you got tank spawn uh, it's not tank spawn but the tank area uh, I, I as the red triangle tank area number two uh, where the tank I think the tank should go as we assaulting D and then the tank should move up along that left, left flank up to tank back number um, one in that area you know the tank is going to be able to put a lot of fire on E building and um, and the tank is going to be able to support the D cap and uh, and guys that I can't stress this enough you need to hold this area okay now let's say we control the area uh, the 
guys spawning at spawn one normally guys when you spawn at spawn one do not follow that red error um, I've, I've uh, drawn out uh, do not follow that one and assault E directly do not do that uh, you need to go down and you need to move up and move into B and kind of crawl in B and, and kind of push B like that uh, up towards a D uh, into those areas and get a lot of fire on it uh, because if you keep on running at E you're just gonna get slaughtered the most important thing is uh, actually <laughs> and again for the Germans it's vice versa if the Germans control this square they're gonna be able to shoot us in the spawn all day long so th that right uh, red square is the key to this map. This is the most important real estate on this map. If the Germans control this and their tank is at war, our tank, uh, triangle number one, they're going to be able to shoot us as we come out of spawn. And, uh, and if we have this, we're going to be able to shoot them. So yeah. Then again, you see just to the left of uh, of the uh, of uh, the decap, there is that building with the uh, with the uh, orange arrow. If we control the it would be super, super sweet if we could push in a squad of people into that building. You know, um, you can both go direct in the front, but you can also go in the back. That arrow going into the back, and of course, be aware that the Germans can go exactly the same direction on the other side and tank Russian tank. Be aware that the German tank can come down that alley, but then he's pretty easy to um, to ambush. Um, and uh, the orange arrow, you see there is some windows over there, so if we can get guys into that general area in, in those windows, you can again shoot the Germans all fucking day long. And it, it's just gonna be a, a, you know, a slaughter fest, and, and we're gonna be able to bleed the tickets. Kind of, uh, guys, th th one of the most important tactics is that we bleed them. You know, we do not have to take E, we do not have to bomb rush E, we are going to be able to bleed the reinforce because they're going to they're be attacking. They're just going to try and take D and we're going to be able to shoot them. Especially all the snipers and marksmen and machine gunners in, uh, in A are going to have a, a field day. Uh, and again, uh, then you would say, oh, but John, why uh, do the Germans just not uh, drop artillery down on, uh, on, on your side of D in that day? In, in the <laughs> I would call it the golden square, but the, the red square, the most important square. Uh, that uh, yeah, they will. They're probably gonna do it. But uh, what we are going to do, uh, we are just gonna go into that. Uh, you see, uh, in the middle of the, in the middle of the red square, there is that uh, green patch. That is the sewer. We're just gonna go into the sewer, guys, and we're just gonna hold the sewer. And the and the <laughs> and uh, the squad is just gonna stay in the sewer if the Germans use artillery, and people are gonna be able to respawn on it, and we're gonna be able to recap this area instantly. So, uh, and of course the commander, I'm just gonna recall artillery uh, on that position. Okay, now let's go up to uh, that red arrow you see me um, using uh, the one. Let's say we are in control of D, we have uh, pushed up to that the left building uh, with the orange arrow. We have been pushed up in that area, we got a good base of fire. Then it's the time, if we got that building, we got D under control, that's when people are gonna be able to attack. And you need pretty much need to follow my arrow because you do not have to go into the front. You're gonna be seeing it in the video. I do it. You can go in the fucking back, guys. I do not know how many guys know this, but there actually is an ex uh, entrance on the back of E. You can go in the back way, and uh, we, if you get a squad leader back there, you know, the squad leader is gonna be able to spawn all day long. So then it's gonna be no problem. Uh, again, uh, concerning B and C. If you if you choose to go into B and C, uh, it's just gonna be a match on your stomach because <laughs> you're gonna be taking a lot of fire from the German tank from uh, from uh, from E building. Um, but uh, yeah, we of course need to take uh, B and uh, C, but most important of all, D guys. D is is uh, prima. Uh, I can't stress it enough uh, on this map. Of course, when you control of D, you see that error going under the heart. Uh, you, you you can push up, uh, you can push up into that area, and kind of put down some fire on the, on the German at E. Uh, there's a lot of shell holes down here in the square. You can uh, you can use those, and you can uh, yeah push up, guys. Uh, lots of smoke, but uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, concludes my uh, my kind of tactical analysis of uh, of this map and um, and again. 
uh, squad leaders uh, into the uh, sewers tanks in the in that uh, square uh, square tank mark number one is the most important thing if the tank do not do this and the german tank gets up in this area you know it's pretty devastating because the germans could do it all the german tactic on this map is pretty much the same as i said just vice versa if they get this uh, square you know they can shoot us in our spawn all fucking day long and it's just gonna be a fucking hassle so uh, yeah guys so uh, be aware of this and uh, and uh, and yeah, this is uh, yeah. And now we're gonna cut over to um, to the gameplay footage. Okay, and here we jump straight into the gameplay footage. Um, what you're gonna be seeing here is me spawning at the yeah, I spawn uh, one just outside uh, a B and C. Um, you're gonna be seeing me storming in right here, guys, to move in and to get uh, to get the artillery. Um, you see. Uh, that is the mark I was talking about, right up there. That is the top side of D. You see right there, squad lead, TL mark. Uh, and I'm just gonna storm right into the radio and kind of get a, kind of get the artillery going. Um, and you see the axes are going for it straight away. Um, uh, and I'm gonna be moving. There you see me. T there, these ex exactly the sewers I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna presume that a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. So sorry if it this is uh, this is boring. But uh, for all you new guys, this is the sewers. You go down into the sewers, uh, and you move up. Uh, and there you see the count. Uh, and there the artillery is coming in. Uh, and and you're gonna be seeing uh, very very soon uh, the kill feed. There you go. The kill feed starts uh, to come because we are starting to wreck those guys trying to move in um, I have deploy smoke uh, kinda to uh, to do it and there you see guys exact problem I was talking about the German tank is at the position where our, our tank was supposed to be and uh, and that is a serious problem um, we could get mauled on this uh, map if uh, if the tank doesn't get into the right position but right here you see we start actually start to cap and the tank moves up and uh, we have no anti-tank guys up here so uh, that is kind of a problem and I get shot and actually you saw that guy down uh, there that was an anti-tank guy so he's gonna take it out he was sneaking up on it so um, so that's uh, fucking awesome um, and you see the artillery uh, keeps on uh, keeps on coming and actually the revolver man revolver man uh, hit right there in front of me he just took out the tank up there and did you see guys four kills in the tank all rules almost in the tank was uh, that I don't know how many guys were in that tank but uh, yeah that was pretty silly uh, only one guy in, in the tank <laughs> guys it's important so we push up uh, to uh, retake D um, to get it uh, and we are capping it uh, as you see and we kind of uh, yeah and guys spread out up here it's uh, it's very important um, and there, there you see me lobbing grenades because I'm I presume the germs are gonna be hiding up against the wall over there in the background um, and yeah exactly so guys the ghost grenades up against that wall uh, and there you see a good spot as the count is uh, is doing so that the people are able to spawn on him on him um, and right here this moment uh, you can see our tank is not up um, so we get killed and right there I pick up uh, a satchel to kind of take out the tank if it uh, pops up again and the tank is right up there and I get machine guns so you see the Germans have that parallel fire and right there you see uh, I spawn at the, uh, at the the other spawn point and people moving up uh, because we're trying to put some pressure on the German flank we actually got a uh, D right there, so this is actually not the smartest thing, but I, I thought I would try something new to try to get uh, to get rid of all those machine gunners up there. Um, and this is kind of the sneaky route I was talking about. Uh, you do not run directly up to uh, to C, uh, sorry, to the German E, the last uh, point. You be a fucking sneaky motherfucker and you move in around the back. Uh, as you see, we're actually doing pretty good. People are attacking it. Um, so I just uh, I just uh, I just thought I would uh, I would try and go around the back. So guys, I think some of you are gonna enjoy this uh, this clip. And and right here you see me sneaking up uh, the back way, being sneaky, sneaky. And uh, yeah, and you're gonna see some uh, most again silenced uh, action. 
Uh, but guys, uh, you saw that uh, back sneaky route. Uh, if, if, for example, you saw that squad leader that was behind me, if he would have followed me back in here and uh, into that uh, shaft there with the, uh, with the staircase uh, shaft, uh, we could have had the uh, people spawning on us uh, in here on the uh, in here on the uh, <laughs> behind the German in the German cap zone. But uh, that didn't happen, and um, yeah, that's just uh, that that's just too bad. Um, but uh, but again, uh, uh, the sniper teams, please focus on uh, on this building. Uh, look, as you see there, there's going to be a lot of guys uh, stacking up here and just uh, shooting a lot of uh, inexperienced players and of course some of the good snipers and riflemen. And that guy, I do not know what happened, but uh, I think he saw me. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, right here I'm going to get owned in some sort of fashion. I'm not really sure what happened, but uh, blam, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> but I'm gonna be setting up recon straight away. As you see, we are stacking up in D. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna be calling in that artillery again up at the uh, up at the D point to kind of push them back. You see, the Germans are moving in. The Germans know they have to concentrate on on D to kind of get us uh, pushed back. And this battle is not going exactly the way it should. You see, uh, too many guys attacking up there at E. Getting uh, getting killed from the flanks and not providing uh, enough covering fire. Um, so I'm uh, I'm dropping in uh, the artillery again. Uh, quite a tank. Up. It's not uh, it's not doing specifically a, a very good job. So it's yeah. It's, uh, it's just too bad. We really really need those tanks to. Uh, Really, need the tanks to, uh, to to move up and to engage uh, topside D. There you see my artillery is coming in, uh, getting some kills, and I yeah, and I clipped a bit in the footage. It's uh, not fun seeing me running up and getting shot, trying to push forward. Uh, and right here, you see they have pushed us all the way back uh, to um, they have pushed us all the way back to C. And right now, you see we are in trouble, guys. We are getting pushed back. We are getting it. Uh, I haven't even explained the victory conditions of this map, and as you saw, there was four maps, and I cannot understand why I cannot hit that guy. Yeah, but there is uh, those uh, four, five cap zones, so uh, if each side we are holding A and B, they are holding E and D, so C is, is you know, if it comes down to it, C is, uh, is the cap zone that uh, you need to be holding at the end of the game. Yeah, and right here you see, actually, uh, that this is exactly the situation I was talking about. We had to avoid them being able to um, them being able to push us back um, all the way back like this. Um, you see, we're getting that pi parallel fire. We cannot get out of the spawn. Uh, we got German infantry lying up there with machine guns. That's why I pick up the hand grenades, guys. Good tip. Always pick up the hand grenades from the ground. And you see the, there the Germans are in the sewer and I get it in the flank. Uh, it's quite a difficult situation right now uh, for us uh, for us to handle and you see people not, but the tank is not pushing uh, C hard enough. That is, uh, that is kind of the problem. The tank is not attacking that left flank uh, hard enough. Uh, and now they actually got C so we are pushed pretty much back and it's it's a lot of running up uh, and dying running up and dying but we really really need bodies in the cap zone and right there so a machine gunner uh, that's good positioning man um, right there what you see me doing now is uh, I'm gonna try and hit the uh, that red square I was talking about exactly there that w red square I was talking about trying to get uh, kind of the Germans out of that position so we are able to push up you see our guys stacking up there at Foxtrot 4. They're stacking up the corner, but they're getting a lot of parallel fire. So right there, I'm going to be trying to push those guys out with uh, artillery. Uh, but actually, it looks like I'm going to decide. I see a lot of guys in E, so uh, that E point is going to get uh, is going to get the artillery. Just because I saw all those guys. Uh, but but that uh, my TL mark as you see on the map is uh, is pretty good. <laughs> Sorry if it's confusing, but it's a long time s since I played this map, so bear with me for a second, guys. But still, there you see me moving up, getting uh, getting the uh, <laughs> getting.
getting the smoke grenades out for us to uh, to move up and you see tank fire that tank is shooting down parallel from uh, top side D and it's uh, fucking murdering us um, <laughs> yeah it's a very very difficult situation so right now we are trying to move up and uh, actually try and get up against the wall trying to have some defile from uh, the Germans up at E and from the tank and there actually the tank bites it uh, well fucking done whoever did it uh, and I get shot in the flank again <laughs> and you see up again so guys in this map you know squad leader you have to be, you, uh, uh, you know you cannot afford to be selfish you need to kinda get up there use your smoke grenades and uh, and if you need to die yeah then you need to die because we really need that uh, we really need that smoke uh, flying and then, and look at that <laughs> I spawn and I get shot at again and I go down and uh, and try and deploy those smoke grenades kinda to get uh, trying to get us uh, going into capping uh, C but the Germans are going at doing a great fucking job on this map uh, they're pushing us uh, back but uh, as you see the Germans is costing them a lot of uh, reinforcements uh, uh, we got good anti-tank guys so we are getting a uh, pretty 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 positive effect on uh, yeah on destroying the German tank and our team's kind of pulling together now and we're all pushing this left flank uh, and well there you see the Germans are still that's the smoke I hit uh, before and now we're able to move up a bit further and I'm able to deploy the smoke a bit further in so uh, <coughs> kinda to help ourselves and uh, what the fuck and yeah Sorry, you see me there trying to get another point and fucking grenades all over the place the Germans of course know that we're gonna be coming up from that alley so uh, of course they're gonna be deploying artillery again uh, but right now I know that it's gonna come down to uh, there is about five minutes left on the clock. It's uh, it's gonna come down to um, it's gonna come down to this uh, this last point uh, C point. Um, it's it's all about the C point right now. Uh, if we can get the the C point, we will win this match. And you see more grenades. And oh, one more, more, yeah, come on, let's. Uh, there's yeah, everybody deploying the smoke, and it's uh, all about down to the bell now. Guys, uh, this is important. There is about three minutes left on the clock, and we have to take and hold C. That is what it's all about on this last round. So this is it's a fucking meat grind. You're not going to be seeing an uh, epic uh, rifle gameplay of me running around uh, taking shots. It is a meat grind. It's about getting buddies in the cap zone. And right there, you see our advantage. We can take advantage of the sewers. We can take advantage of the building of cover out there where I, I'm going to be dropping the artillery in a couple of seconds. The Germans are going to be having no cover. If the Germans want to be in the cap zone, they have to be out in the open. So uh, that's why we needed those uh, machine gunners in uh, in this building in in our A spawn. Uh, <laughs> and right there, you see them starting to recap it. But uh, we got a secret rep and we got the, the artillery coming in. And I get myself into the cap zone and you see we are equal. So this is pretty exciting, guys. That is pretty exciting. And uh, and I'm just hoping for that artillery is going to have an effect um, of clearing out some of those guys. And you see it's pretty close to our position. And right there, <laughs> right there you see us, uh, <laughs> my god, getting a lot of guys in that zone because we knew... They're going to be spawning on squad leaders, they're going to be spawning pretty close and we just need the guys to, to kind of get in and there you see me getting revolver man, just, uh, that's just too bad. But we fucking cap C and uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I remember I was yelling and screaming uh, when this ended because we still got three salvos to Germans, do not have it and there's 130 left. So it couldn't be better timed. If we didn't have had, had that artillery, we wouldn't have won this game. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and guys, this, uh, kind of concludes, uh, this, uh, this video. Yeah, we are going to win this, uh, the time is elapsing and, uh, and yeah, we got a lot of guys in the cap zone. So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to the channel it's uh, super nice guys and thank you for all the nice uh, comments i'm
doing my best to kind of uh, fix the sound. I know the sound is going to be pretty low on this one as well, so please bear with me until I find out how to, uh, you know, get a better system uh, to record the sound and uh, make it louder. So, yeah, sorry for that, guys. But, uh, yeah, of course, uh, I'm going to be making a Pavlos house for the German uh, perspective on the tactical view because people have uh, wished that so of course that's going to be coming out and uh, I'm just going to keep on making these videos please uh, if you got any good ideas or uh, yeah what you want to see please uh, put it in the comments and uh, thank you guys please uh, comment rate and subscribe um, to my channel and uh, I'm trying to respond to everybody that writes to me and um, yeah so uh, thank you a lot guys and thank you for watching uh, this is uh, General Anthony CH Melchett signing back out again